okay. popularly known as Adventure. Oh, okay. They are all humble players. Wow. And they support Ghana Air Force. I mean, definitely yeah. then we, we should take a look at handball very, very critically. I think Ghana guys came in the right direction to just hold this fort. Yeah. Yeah. The sponsorship they, package that was given to Ghana handball, I think um, is a step in the right direction. Yeah, it came, came in at the right time, I think, it has pushed handball to a different level. And I believe Ghana Gas alone can do it. Oh, okay. We still need sponsors. All right. We still need sponsors. I mean, definitely, we'll um, add it till end of the discussion. We'll, we'll just uh, be calling uh, Eric Sena Ajay, he happens to be the secretary of Gaha, that is Greater Accra Handball Association. He'll just take us through what transpired, why the elections didn't come on. Oh, okay. All right. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, Eric, good morning and um, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me on your show. Oh, okay. Um, Eric, why didn't the elections actually come on? We had to postpone the election because uh, as at the time we were closing to nomination forms, we had only one person picking up a nomination form for the position of uh, organizing secretary. That is in the name of uh, Mr. Hillary Mills, okay. uh, prison service officer, um, coach for complement youth and player for prison uh, service. Oh, okay. So what we want to do is um, we want to reopen um, the picking and dropping of some uh, nomination forms, and uh, we also want to give ourselves ample time to prepare um, for the Congress. Oh, okay. So when do you believe the elections will be held? Definitely, uh, we are looking at uh, late November, early December. It will be after the Champions of Champions. We want to use the opportunity to also account for all the monies we spent this year with regards to handball in Greater Accra. The sponsorship chalked by Ghana Handball through Ghana Gas, how relevant is it? Did it come at the right time? And how? How was it reimbursed to some of the um, participating clubs that came through? Uh, you want to say sponsorship chucked by Greater Accra Handball? Yeah. That's what you want to say. Yeah. yeah Ghana guys came at the right time. And um, mm -hmm. their support towards uh, Greater Accra Handball has been tremendous. It's added a little bit of color to the game we play in Greater Accra. Um, the executives are still uh, looking at ways to make sure that the sponsorship trickles down to each and every player, each and every coach, and each and every referee. Oh, okay. So these are some of the things we'll be accounting for when uh, we finally go for the team congress after we finish with the playing of the game. What should we expect from the Greater Accra Handball Association? I mean, after the league, I mean, um, comes to a close, what should we expect from you again? When the league comes to a close, uh, we expect the players to take a rest. It's been a very long season. Um, the security teams could also go back to work and uh, do some little work uh, in their various positions, various regions. And also... Um, hello? Yeah, I'm here. I'm listening to you. And also, um, it will also give us uh, time. That is if we get elected again to office or so the new executives will also have the time. Okay. to plan effectively for next year they will decide when to pick start the league and when to end the league oh okay it's been a long season now uh, unlike in nigeria where they get to play 10 days in 10 days out twice in a year we have been playing so much all the way all the way down to uh say november so for us it's a very long season oh, okay now, when is the champion of champions happening? You know, we have the knockout champions in Ghana Air Force. Immediately after the league, we'll have a champion. So when is the champion of champions happening? We are currently playing the outstanding matches of the league, which will finish next week, Saturday, with a cracker between police and Air Force. Um, as soon as we are done with the outstanding matches, we are looking at the tentative date of uh, 23rd November. The executive will definitely come out with the exact dates because it's going to take a lot of preparation. We intend doing a lot of things. We are also going to meet again as stakeholders, as coaches, as captains, as, yeah, coach, coach, as media men to also um, elect um, deserving players who need to take awards home this year, as usual, like we do year in, year out. 
So we're going to look at all of this before we fix the date for the Champions of Champions. Okay, your final message to all teaming fans, supporters, lovers of handball. So first of all, I want to say a big thank you to Omni TV for the support you've been giving us. And uh, we hope you continue with us. And uh, when we get to the top, uh, Omni TV is one of the stations we will not forget, one way or the other. Oh, okay. uh, we want to tell people in Ghana and Greater Accra that uh, handball is a discipline that could make it happen. In as much as we go for the quad games and we, we, we get into the medal zone and we don't get any award or any uh, podium for it, we are still playing handball. We just want to get that opportunity to be able to showcase um, our talent, showcase our discipline, our know-how um, to other countries. We were not able to go for the All-African Games, and uh, I'm sure when we get the hosting right, we'll do better than that because it's going to be played here in Accra. We had the police team going out this year to play the Nigerian League on a non-scoring basis. Out of 10 matches, they win 8 matches, lost one and drew one. So uh, we, everybody needs to understand that uh, it's not just football that's uh, making a mark in terms of sports in Ghana. Other disciplines are doing it. Volleyball is doing it. Basketball is doing it. Hockey is doing it. So um, we also appealing to the government, appealing to the Ministry of Youth and Sports, appealing to the National Sports Authority to give an equal platform to all disciplines. Let's let's be accountable for what we do year in year out from January to December. Handball needs all the support it gets. We don't get anything at all from um, the authorities with regards to handball. Let's build a multi-purpose indoor court at least for volleyball, basketball, and handball, and then we take it from there. Thank you very much, Eric Sena Ajay, for speaking to Omi Television on the Sports Coffee Show. Thank you very much. All right. I mean, um, you heard your secretary, the Gaha secretary, Eric Sena Ajay.